we're going to take a look at the STAR G640 XP pen. So this device should be great for artwork or signing your name or collaborating on a whiteboard, especially if you're teaching an online course. It comes with a thank you card, a warranty card, quick start guide, and a card showing you where to download drivers. The pen comes with 20 replacement tips and this little silver ring. I got the camera to focus on the ring. See how one side has a little cutout to replace the tip? See the little notch? Grab the tip, gently pull it out, put the new one back in. So I'm going to connect it to my laptop. It comes with a six foot USB cable, the micro connector plugs into the top of the tablet and the standard connector plugs into your laptop or computer. To download drivers, go to xp-pen.com forward slash download. Select the product category, star series tablet, enter your model, mine's the G640, and search Scroll down and select your model. Scroll down, you can download a manual. Here's the Mac drivers. I'm going to download the Windows 10, the official driver. You can download the beta if you wish. Once it's done downloading, I'm going to click on it and select Show in Folder. Right click on the package and select Extract All. Note the location where it's going to be extracted at, and I'm going to leave Show Extracted Files when complete selected. When it opens, launch it. If you're prompted by user access control or your antivirus software to allow it, make sure you allow it. Agree to the license and install. Down at the bottom, it shows you the progress. Complete to close it. The installation puts an icon on your desktop pen tablet and you can also search for it and launch it. Launching it doesn't open up the configuration settings. Let me show you how to do that. To open the pen tablet settings panel, go down to your system tray and if you don't see the pen tablet icon, select the up arrow and then select pen tablet right there. It opens this detailed panel. If you have more than one pen, Select this pen. You can change what the top and bottom buttons on the pen do. I'm going to leave the defaults right now, but you can utilize the drop downs and select something else. You can change the pressure sensitivity, change the mouse mode, change the speed. I'm going to leave this selected. This will allow my pen to be used with the default Windows ink interface. So you can write and change it to text or draw objects. Microsoft Office apps. Over here, very important, by default, you see my working area is the entire monitor. Now I have a 32 inch monitor and the active area on the tablet is six inches by four inches. If I leave it to be the whole screen, whatever I write on my tablet will be huge if my app's only using a portion of the screen. So if you just have one screen and your app's going to take up the entire screen, that might be fine. I'm going to open the Windows Paint app. I have the Paint app size to be about two thirds of my screen. I'm going to select Custom Display Mapping. Now you see this anchor? You put this at the top left corner. If you put it here, you won't be able to use the pen to select icons on the ribbon. So it's up to you how you want to work. If you if you want to use your mouse to select these, you could put it here. If you want to use the pen to select options, you would put it up here. Once you click, the anchor changes orientation or direction and put it down here. So I'm going to be able to use the pen from one corner to the other. And now I'm going to select OK. So now when I select pen, I can draw with my pen. And now I can use the pen to go up here and change my color. I'm not an artist, so let me show you how to launch Windows Ink in a Microsoft app. I'm going to open OneNote. Most Microsoft apps have a Draw tab on the ribbon. So I can select 
the pen, write something. If I select this and right click, I can switch it from ink to text, explore all these settings. I can select the lasso, and then I can use my mouse to select my text, or since I turn the lasso on, I can use my pen and I can use the top button to erase it. So you'll have to experiment with the Windows Ink. It's available in OneNote also. You can use it in Microsoft Word by selecting the Draw tab. One last thing I want to show you. I'm going to go back to the X-Pen settings. If you've experimented with settings, especially the working area settings, and now your pen just isn't working, just click on the default button and OK, and it sets everything back to defaults so you can try again. So this should get you started. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.